Today on my walk, I went looking specifically for signs of a beaver, and I found them. I found some trees that were pointy, that were clearly been, had been chewed by a beaver. I also found some little chips laying around the bottom that are left behind by the beaver when he's chewing down the tree. He doesn't actually eat wood, but we'll get to that later. And then I also found this older beaver chew, and you can tell it's older because the wood does not look as fresh as the other ones that I found. So let's learn a little bit more about beavers and what makes them unique. This is a beaver skull, and I wanted to point out some pretty interesting features about a beaver skull. So first of all, beavers are rodents. So they have these teeth that grow their entire lives and they have to chew on things in order to stop their teeth from growing either into their bottom jaw or into their upper jaw. So in the case of beavers, they like to chew on wood. So another really interesting feature about beaver skulls is where their sense organs are oriented on their heads. So this is his ear and this is his eye and this is his nose. And you'll notice all of those things are kind of on the top of his head. So when he's swimming in the water, if you imagine that this is the water right here where my hand is, he can have his ear and his eye and his nose all out of the water so he can breathe and he can see and he can hear. If you think about where your nose and your eyes and your mouth are on your face, you have to have almost your entire head out of the water in, in order to see and breathe and hear. Most people know that beavers use wood to build their houses. They build their lodges where they live and they build their dams, which they make to stop the water from flowing. But in order to carry that wood back to whatever they're building, they have to carry it in their mouth. And that's where the space in between their front teeth and their back teeth comes in. This space right here is called the diastema. And diastema is a fancy word for a space between your teeth. And this diastema for a beaver is just the right size for a stick. So if you ever come across a beaver lodge or a beaver dam, you'll notice a lot of the sticks are not super big. They're just about the diameter of say a quarter. That's about the size that they usually are using to build. This is an example of a beaver lodge and you'll notice that none of the sticks are super big. They're skinny, just the right size that the beaver can carry back to his home. So on this stick, you'll also notice some teeth marks. Beavers don't actually eat wood. What beavers like to eat is the layer of cells that holds the bark to the tree or to the stick. And that layer of cells is called the cambium. It's a nice juicy green layer and that's the stuff they like to eat. So they don't eat wood, they eat the stuff that holds the bark to the tree. So the next time you're out for a walk near a pond or a river, look for a sign like this and you'll know that a beaver has been here.